Good afternoon. Welcome back to Crackers Crazy Living. Thank you for joining me today. Today is Friday, Good Friday that is. Um, getting ready to show you how I do my mac and cheese. I have not done this mac and cheese for my YouTube channel yet. I've made it three or four different times. My kids love it. Um, it's very simple to make. And um, it just takes a little bit of time. Um, it could get a little bit pricey. Um, it takes, I have three different types of cheese. I'm going to grate up a bar of a Munster cheese. This is an eight ounce block. I have two bags of Creamy Melt three cheese blend. Don't know if I'm gonna use both bags, but I have both of these. And then I have one bag of mild cheddar cheese. You could probably use any types of cheese you want in this. I have used provolone in it. I have used um, a combination of provolone, the three cheese bl blend, and um, Monterey Jack. I've used the, the Munster. I've used provolone. I've used, I think I used even some mozzarella, I believe. So, I mean, there's, you can make this any way you prefer. I'm going to show you the easy way that I like to make it. Right now on my stove, I have, um, right now on my stove, I have my pot going here for my pasta. I'm trying to. Find a good spot for you. I have the hardest time positioning my phone. All right, that's my water boiling. This is my pot. You can't even see it. Maybe I'll have to switch this around. Maybe I'll put my other pot over there. Hold on just a second. I'm going to switch my pans around here. This is such a huge burner for that small pan. i got to turn that down medium and not put my pan on there. Well, let me turn this down on medium just real quick and let that cool down from high. It was on high. I got my water going over here for my my pasta. And recently I've been really into using this cavatappi noodle. I'll sh and that's the way it looks. It's a thicker, bigger noodle and it really seems to work nicely for my mac and cheese. I'm gonna get a stick of butter And we are going to make a roux. Hopefully now you can see my pot over here. I'm going to put this stick of butter. Yes, I use a whole stick of butter. Not margarine. That goes in the pot. I have my all-purpose flour handy. Let me get something to move this around with. I'm going to melt this whole stick of butter in my pot. While that's melting, I'm going to pause you and I'm going to shred my Munster cheese. I'll be right back. Okay, my butter's melting. My water is boiling for my pasta. Put that in there. 
going to give it a stir. I put a, a generous amount of salt in my water. People don't like putting oil in their pasta. I like putting just a little bit of grapeseed oil in mine because I don't like my pasta sticking together. I don't like it being all clumpy. It doesn't do anything to the mac and cheese in my opinion. That is just my opinion. I know you can't see me, but you can only hear me. This particular view, I don't have much different choices. I have a very tiny kitchen, and um, I don't know where else I could position my, my camera. And I don't have a camera person. All right, so my butter is melted. I'm going to go ahead and start, I don't even know how much. You you want to just start putting your your flour in there. You're, you're, uh, you're going to make a roux, which is a, a paste, if you will. A flour paste made with flour and butter. And you just want to put some in at a time. You don't want to dump in a whole bunch at once. want to make a, a fairly nice paste but you don't want it too thick that should be yeah that should be about, I have made them too thick in the past see you kind of want it like a almost like you're making some kind of a pastry dough Ooh. so you're gonna let that cook for a second you don't want to really I don't really brown it, the flour. Um, I just try to cook out some of that flour taste. I just let it kind of simmer for a second. You can see what it looks like. I wish I could clip my thing up here, but I can't. I wish I had this 